The Pacers offered DeAndre Ayton of a full max last season, and the Suns had to match. So this is on the idea that they're going to still want him, which they may not. DeAndre Ayton for Miles Turner is how we started out. This is this is where it gets interesting. TJ McConnell, a 31 year old 6'1 point guard. So I don't want to hear much guff about this from Pacers fans like they don't want to give him up. All right. You've got Andrew <laughs> Nemhard. You've got the new point guard of the future, Tyrese Halliburton. You don't need no more point guards. You don't need a little 6'1 30 something year older. All right. And because the Suns really desperately need a steady point guard especially if you're going to end up cutting or getting rid of Chris Paul. We need point guard help. So I got TJ McConnell in there. I've got a second rounder from the Suns, 2024. Got to go to picks here and grab that. And Landry Shamit. We're tired of Landry Shamit. Suns fans are literally, he's dead to us. So we (laughs) we get rid of Shamit. And here's my argument. Miles Turner and DeAndre Ayton, given DeAndre Ayton's performance in the playoffs, they're closer than they used to be, right? But I think Miles Turner's time in uh, Indiana seems like it's been coming to a close. They already won, wanted Ayton. If I had, if I had to choose, I would pick skill wise DeAndre Ayton. So they're getting the better center. So we're asking for a little bit back. We're asking for Jalen Sticky Boy Sticks. All right, because come right back. They don't play him. They thought he was going to work out there, and they gave him up. They 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 just gave him up as far as playing him they don't play him anymore what do you think about this is this crazy is this is this too much i don't think it's crazy i don't think it's too much i mean it just really depends on how you feel about deandrea ayton like do you, do you feel ayton is savable do you feel ayton is, is yes to, you know turn it around in vocal system or not and it, it just depends on how you feel about that if you think ayton's not worth the scuff get miles turner if you if you do don't make the trade you know what i mean what i do like is getting landry shaman out of the building that's the best part about this trade in my opinion is getting landry shaman out of the building and uh, and getting tj mcconnell you know because at this point if we're saying hypothetically Chris Paul's getting cut that means you need point guard help so getting TJ McConnell and having campaign I, I feel kind of okay with those two point guards on the team and then of course Miles Turner uh Sticks is just icing on the cake depending on how you feel about icing Sticks, on know, the he cake did, he, he, did like he played he played very well with Chris Paul mm-hmm. and well, Chris I, Paul I, 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 I would like, like to, in, in this in this right. scenario Monty right? was the problem Monty ruined Sticks Monty hated Sticks so that's why I want him back. Another thing, that first trade only saved us 1.1 million. That's the other thing the Suns need to really focus on is getting money back because we're really, this new CBA is hitting everybody hard, okay? This trade saves the Suns $8 million, okay? So okay. on top of getting all of this, you get $8 million back. What did, what did I see? Oh, dang, there's there's someone here. Uh, SP Coop says they still wouldn't trade Jalen Smith. You, you might be right, Coop. You might be right. I can see that. But it just, it really did seem like they gave up on him. Landon Wolford says Aiton for Hardaway and a 10th pick. We, we definitely have a Mavs pick, a Mavs trade coming up. But in that... In that trade um, with the Mavs, I saw that. We all saw that report come out earlier saying, oh, the Suns are going to get um, Hardaway, Josh Green, and the 10th pick. That ain't happening. Mavs fans, not that they control it, but. No, not for Aiden. Mark no. Cuban is too smart for that. So yeah, I, I tried to be a little bit more. Aiden. Anything else you want to say on this, man? I'm looking at it. And it, like I said, people in the chat, are, it just depends how you feel about DA at this point. Like, do you, do people really think DA is going to turn around under Vogel or not? If you don't, you make this deal i think, I think. he could you, do, you keep him like i said just the only thing that i like about it is getting rid of him at net 10 million dollars because that but was a once again contract. here you're turning two players into three and we're desperately trying to fill out the sun's roster without having to sign umpteen minimum veteran contracts i don't want a team full of no offense damian lees and josh Kogi's no offense i love josh Kogi. i don't want a team of hey this is the minimum you're allowed to be paid will you you know what i mean like the suns need to fill out the roster with usable players right. that depth killed them in the playoffs AZ Dre says um, Monty ruined sticks and DA. I could not agree more. I 100%. could not agree more, man. Like 100%. On, on our channel, we have talked as much about what Monty, how Monty Williams feels treats his bigs. It's just not fair. Phoenix Suns 13 says not worth it. You may be right, Phoenix Suns 13. And here's why, because what if Vogel fixes Aiton like everyone's saying? You know, that's something I want to see too. All right, let's move on to the third one, which is Aiton 
going to the Pelicans. All right. I can already feel the heat on the back of my neck for trying to explain <laughs> this one. All right. Go ahead. So here's here's me thinking. Zion Williamson is going through the ringer right now. Would you agree? We don't need to comment on what it is that that, that ringer is, but life isn't going Zion's way. He can't stay healthy. Right. He is healthy, but he doesn't want to play. They're, they're going to be looking. I'm not saying we're trading for Zion, so relax. I'm saying that's <laughs> yeah. why they would be interested in DeAndre Ayton as a healthy, svelte, in shape replacement in case Zion doesn't get his stuff together in New Orleans. Then you right. have McCollum. They have depth, dude. They have they have great players. So you got McCollum and Ingram and Ayton. And then if Zion gets his stuff together, Ayton and Zion and oh, come Ingram, on, man. that yeah, that, yeah, that is got to be kind of sexy for them. I would think. Also, not to mention who think. the coaches. Go ahead and tell them. I mean, the coach Please. is Willie Green, their- former, you know, former Phoenix Suns assistant. So who would know Aiton better than Willie Green? So Absolutely. that's also another caveat to this trade. And Willie Green is a better coach. So so let's go with Larry Nance first. Let's pop Larry Nance in there because this is just filler. I don't want Larry Nance, but it kind of feels right. His dad won the uh, dunk contest with the Phoenix Suns. It's always seemed like he was going to end up in Phoenix. There's, you know, some... Uh, Nostalgia pig. There's nostalgia a, a pig. nostalgia there to it. And he's playable. No, Larry Nance is playable. 6'7", he's uh-huh. only 30 years old. He can get rebounds. He can, he can, you know, if you keep Chris Paul, that's a lob target for him. So that, but it's, it is mostly to make money work. Cause we got, we, the Suns got to take back some more money if we, if we give them DA. So it's Jonas for DA. I think DA is still the better center than Jonas. And he's seven years younger. Come on. So big for big, we give them a second round pick in 2024. Here's where I really think Pelicans fans say no, sir, is we want Alvarado. Oh, All right, Alvarado. We want not him. Alvarado. And we need him. Yes, not Alvarado. Alvarado. Are you seriously saying no to Alvarado right now? I'm not. Say- no, 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 no. Okay. All right. First off. I like Jose Alvarado. It's real scrappy player. I, I like him. I just didn't like what he did to us. That that's my problem with him. I just didn't like what but he did to us. Do you want play. him doing Alvarado's that for you? Player. Yes. Yes, I do. I do. I want him doing that for us. Him and campaign. I can live with that. Yes, I can live with I that. Could. He's low key nice. So that's where I think Pelicans fans will probably revolt because they do. They they probably love. Alvarado, that I mean, talk about a fan favorite. What but. I do love about this trade is the Valanciunas. Like, I feel like mm. Vogel being here, that is the exact kind mm. of thing you need is Valanciunas. And I've always liked Valanciunas. Yes. Every time we play the Pelicans, I've always talked about how much, how big, how physical he is. So, yeah, that this to me, that would be the one that I would like the most about this trade. Valanciunas won, Jose next. You said, and Nance Jr. Just that, just a, just a nostalgia pick, really. But you know, but Valanciunas is he's the one. playable. That's the one. He's he's rotational. You can use Larry Nance, especially when he's teamed up with Booker and KD. He's not going to be asked to score much. <laughs> There's a lot of negativity with this trade. <laughs> A lot of I people. knew it would be, oh, man. man. Javi says, hell no. Nah. Ezekiel says, what? There's, a, Yeah, you know, there, a lot of people I are see, really not liking this one. I see Jesse Silva saying healed Turner and one of, but it's a little bit too low. I can't I can't see the bottom of it. But look, they ain't giving up healed and Turner for, for Aiden. We got, I wanted these to be realistic. Like, we didn't want to come on here and just be like, this will make the Suns better and the other team terrible. Like, we're trying to, okay, so he says, and uh, one of those extra guards in Indy uh, for Aiton. Aiton. Yeah, it's, I feel like it's a little that, too much. I just feel like it's too much, you know? If Aiden, it happens... Shamit, Paul. So he wants to put Aiton, Shamit, and Paul in a deal and send them to Indy. Mm. I can't see Indy. I think Indy would... Why would Indy want to take on that Paul contract? And they've got Tyrese Halliburton, who is everything that Chris Paul was and potentially more, okay? Who that, who that 318 says, are you seriously okay with campaign or Jose being your starting point? That, look... I let him fight I like it out. Question. I let him duke it out <laughs> like in question. training camp. But I am more comfortable with campaign being a starter. They don't have to play 30 plus minutes each. They can really split the minutes. 
there if you, if you really had to. They don't have to play 30 plus. You know what I mean? So, I mean, <laughs> this is what it is. Judah Nutt says, do that campaign and Jose at point would be valid. Look, I get it. That's not a star studded point guard situation, but let's not forget that Devin Booker has taken the leap. Devin Booker is good enough handling the ball and distributing now that he can play point guard and his defense has stepped up. He can, he can give you not what Chris Paul gives you, of course, in assists, but it's not too terribly off. So I'm looking at Booker running the offense more. So Alvarado is just a defensive point guard out there hitting threes and defending. That's what he does. That's all we need. Yeah, what you, we have somebody says, please, please, please do eight into the Mavs. Do you have any ideas? You guys want to do eight into the Mavs? You guys want to do eight into the Mavs? We got a three teamer. All right. That I think okay. you're going to like. Okay. All right. All right. Here we go. Here we go. Creighton. Uh, so we this this was tough. This was tough. I wanted to try to make it. We had to find a third team to um, offset and take some money out of the situation. So we went with the Jazz. The Jazz have a decent amount of money, and here's what we're gonna do. And I think this is reasonable. I really do, really do. Mm -hmm. And okay. I'm willing to bend, Mavs fans. I'm willing to bend if you need to. Yeah. So DeAndre Ayton goes to the Mavs. Uh, okay. Javale McGee goes back to the Suns. I don't want JaVale McGee. All right. I'm about to Relax. Say, I'm about however, to say. however, he played some of his best basketball in Phoenix. One he season. would be reunited with his coach that he won a title with in Los Angeles, okay, Frank like Vogel. That. And you're rotating essentially him, Jock Landale and busy. Okay. So you rim protection is 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 exactly what vogel likes and and is known for so javel mcgee the Suns also get reggie bullock a three and d wing this is to take some money back because we would have to and also i think he's very usable for the Suns. pretty good three-point shooter we saw him defend the heck out of chris paul we used to have him we got him the Suns got him from the clippers years ago when we were terrible all right so you're bringing a play back the jazz get maxi kleba and the 10th pick that big that big trade that was all over the news the mavs are going to give up josh green hardaway and the 10th pick for ayton that's probably not going to happen but if but here they move the 10th to the jazz the jazz return the 28th of this year first round pick number 28 so they swap those picks the suns get the jazz 16 and this is the crown jewel in this trade it's not ja it's not ja doubles relax this isn't about javel mcgee i shouldn't have started with him and i'm sorry <laughs> the crown of this is is the jazz number 16 overall pick and i think that this year's draft is deep enough that you can get someone at 16 okay so that's it reggie and javel are money coming in players that can be used and also mm -hmm. players that the Mavs aren't going to be like, no, you're not getting him from us. Like we're, I, I realize the Suns are probably not going to get Josh Green. Josh Green is nice and he's young and they want to see where that goes. So here we have it. Now here's where I said I'd be willing to bend and I don't want to do this, but I would maybe that jazz 16 goes to the Mavs and the Suns get that uh, jazz 28. So instead of picking at 16, the Suns will be picking at 28. And I don't like that, but if they played hardball, I could see that, you know, definitely don't like that as much. But Scoop says, you are you a Suns fan? We're not winning nothing with these players for trading for please Coop spend some time on Fanspo or ESPN trade machine and try to work. These trades are impossible. The Suns gave their future to a center who no one like his his trade value is dead, killed dead. dead. OK, Chris Paul's trade value dead. So uh, this these are trying to be realistic. You know, what do you think, bro? I mean, yes, we're trying to be realistic. Yes. Like, I just I don't like JaVale. The only player I really like out of that is Reggie Bull. Like, I understand why you did it because of the money. It does, you know, give us some space. The best part about it is the pick. The pick is the only no, good thing about the No, trade. I forgot, bruh. I forgot. And everyone in the in the chat needs to apologize right now. Because okay, y'all ain't right. looking at the green y'all aren't looking at the green number top left ski. So not only are you getting the second pick, JaVale McGee and Reggie, which are two usable players that the Suns once again 
again, they're trying to fill out the roster. You save $16.2 million and you move up into the first round. $16.2 million. You know how much the Suns would save if they just cut and, and got rid of Chris mm -hmm. Paul? 12! Yeah. Only 12! Yeah, people, don't like, which, which, people don't like this trade, man. Merck says, bro, that's boo, that's the worst deal. <laughs> Wit says, yikes. Brad Pitt, why do you keep trying to get, to get us a trade for all these slugs? They don't I'm like trying this trade, to. <laughs> They don't like it. Here's why. Because I could have came on here. We could have came on here and put up trades that make the Suns better and hype everyone up that are completely unrealistic. But we didn't want to do that. We wanted to bring you actual trade possibilities. Look, the Mavericks the, the, the are not going to. The reality gonna, of the situation you know, is. The reality of the situation is the Suns are strapped. So, like, we're trying strapped. to be realistic. We are strapped for cash. Strapped. So, it's, it's going to be hard. So Strapped for cash for and strapped for players. This is about putting yep. a team around. Devin Booker and Kevin Durant that can actually compete.